Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial today and this is going to be about exporting from Unreal Engine and using them in other places like Unity and other specific 3D programs. Now this is very specific to potentially 3D models that you get out of Unreal Engine because it's probably impossible to get something that's a, a script or something that uses blueprints because it's just not suitable. I'll show you exactly how to export it but we're going to have to and I know everybody's going to sort of moan and think oh no I don't want to have to know this but there's something very specific you have to know about how materials and textures work in Unreal compared to how they work into something like Unity for us to be able to export it. So you need to know how the textures are broken down into each of their individual red, green and blue components within the actual channels of the texture for you to be able to convert that, to be able to use it properly in Unity. Because yes, you could just literally run into Unreal Engine, click everything, export it, but it wouldn't quite look right because something might be metallic when it's not meant to be and it just, just doesn't look right. If you don't want to watch this, I'll leave something so you can skip on to the bit where you can export it directly from Unreal. So with Unreal Engine 4, you've got to realize that it includes usually by default four different texture maps, a base color, an occlusion, metal rough, and a normal and emission. The base color, normal, and emission are the same across Unity and Unreal, but it's the difference between how they control the metallic or the roughness of a surface. So it's made up of red, green, and blue RGB in the actual channels. With the red channel being mixed AO, the green channel being a roughness, and the blue channel being a metallic map. So they're all different maps that would fit into one texture, so you don't have lots of textures in one. Now, the difference here, the slight difference is for Unity standard, which is URP or the standard render pipeline, they have metallic smoothness, which uses a metallic map in the red, green and blue channels. But in the alpha channel, it uses glossiness, which glossiness is just an inversion of the roughness map. So if the roughness map is black and white, then it's the opposite way. So it's mostly white and then black. It's just just the way that it works. And in <laughs> difference here, also in Unity's HDRP workflow for their metallic uh, smoothness workflow, they use RGB again with alpha, but red is metallic, green is mixed AO, blue is uh, be filled with anything, and alpha is glossiness. So it works similarly, but we also add in the mixed AO, which needs its own channel. So with these in mind, we'll go and export from Unreal Engine and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So when we're in Unreal Engine, as I am now, is that you can go to the Unreal Engine tab at the top, you can go to library. If you've got any of the assets that you might have already downloaded from free assets or stuff that you might have bought previously, sometimes you need to check what version number they have. So you can click on any one of the assets. So I will choose the abandoned fact on their asset store. You can see that it supports between version 4.19 and version 4.25. So if you go back on the library, you can install a new version of Unreal if you need to by clicking the little plus and you can choose to set one of them by default. So once you've got that by default, you need to create a new project. And what you can do is just click launch and create a new one. Then once that's created, you can add any of the packs that you've got to your project. And to add them, you can click on add project and you can choose which one you want to add. So in this case, I don't want to add because I added the abandoned factory and the animals pack. Now what we can do, double click and open up Unreal. Once we're here, we get the default test scene depending on what type of project that you made, but it doesn't matter. Now for my example, I'll use the African animals pack and I'll choose the elephant. And we've got a bunch of assets in here, which the developer set. If we go to the meshes, you can see that the different skeletal meshes and things from there. So specifically to models, you can right click, go to asset actions, go on export, and you can choose to export that to the a folder that you might have. So on my desktop, I'm just saving it as the default name and it'll be saving it as an FBX file. That's perfect. We can choose how to export it. We can just export as an FBX 2013. You can export the vertex colors. You can export the collision if you want. Maybe I won or any morph targets. I don't want it. And anything like that, I can just export and it will come with level of detail if the object comes with it. So you can just click export and it will export that model out. So it's slightly different with materials is that usually Depending on how this is set up because Unreal Engine can be different. If we go to the element and we go to the textures, now it's got a bunch of textures here. 
which I find because we can get grab the base color easily normal specular we can right click do the same asset actions and click export now with the occlusion roughness specular you would have to open this up in a photo manipulation program like Photoshop to grab all the channels in the RGB now what we can do instead of doing that you can go to the elephant again choose the meshes we can select the model that we want which has the textures already on the asset we can choose to bake out materials set the resolution of our textures that we might want so we might want them at 2048 by 2048 depending how big then we can choose that we want diffuse which would be our base color we can add another which would be we wanted our roughness because like in unity roughness can be just inverted to be glossiness then add another and we can choose normal add another we can choose ambient occlusion let's say another which could be our metallic and that's what we'll use for this and you can choose to choose whichever other maps you want and you might want opacity if you're choosing that now we can click confirm and it will bake those textures out for us automatically if we want to do it this way and then it will have to recompute the shaders because that's just what unreal engine does then what we can do is we can go back to the elephant go back to the meshes folder because it won't refresh otherwise and you can see now here we have the ambient occlusion we have the base color we have the metallic we have the normal and we have the roughness so you can see the metallic of an elephant an elephant is not a metallic object or it isn't very shiny but it has got a roughness to it so what you can do is you can right click each of these assets and just do the exact same got asset actions export and export them to where you want them okay so now we're in Photoshop we're gonna prepare our textures to be able to use within unity so this is going to be an example of using the standard render pipeline now I've opened all these up you don't need to do anything with a normal map that's absolutely fine we can export that into unity later we can keep the ambient occlusion for this because in this case for unity standard the ambient occlusion is separate we want to keep that roughness because we said we wanted to do something with it to turn it into a glossy map we have the metallic map but it's black because our elephant isn't very metallic the base color doesn't currently have any transparency or opacity maps so if it did it would need that but that's not our concern for now we just wanted to work on the actual metallic roughness or the metallic smoothness in unity so when we've got our metallic map here you can see that it's just black I'm just going to double click my layer in Photoshop and look at the channels and the channels are just RGB red green and blue now because we're on the default layer what we need to do is actually go to layer layer mask and we need to do a layer mask from transparency so then we can mask it over the top so now we can go on to our now we can go onto our roughness texture double click that layer and what we want to do is because that's a roughness map we want to go to image adjustments and invert and we've inverted that to make it into a glossy map now we can press Control a and c to copy we can go back into our other our other texture here the metallic texture go to our channels and you can see that we can just we've got the layer mask zero here if we take the eye on it and paste it in we will get a transparency on the other layers but also have this as a full solid layer so it almost looks a bit transparent in our preview because the other layers are fully metallic and it was fully black so we can't even see anything so in this case we just have a tiny bit of transparency there so now we can save out and I will just save this as my metallic smoothness and what I'll do is I'm going to save this as a PNG because I prefer PNGs to targets but you can use either now we'll go into unity I've already imported the elephant because uh, you just right click import new asset but in this case we need to import the textures so we need all of the textures the base color the metallic smoothness the ambient occlusion and the normal so we can import those textures straight into unity and we've got them all there we can click on our elephant model and we want to click to extract material so when we do that it'll choose you know where do we want to put that choose the folder that you want to put it in and click extract and then it'll come with the texture that the developer created and this is our elephant we could have created one ourselves it doesn't matter but I was trying to save time 
Now we can add our base color to the albedo slot. I'll just apply this to my elephant because you can see the elephant is alive currently. And we can add the normal. We can just hit fix now if we get any errors, then we get the detailing on the elephant. We'll get the ambient occlusion. So it adds darknesses to the recessed areas. And then we can add the metallic smoothness, which you can see that the smoothness slider goes all the way to one. But when we look around the actual elephant itself, it's not shiny because if we hadn't have done this edit to the metallic map, he would have come out all shiny and that wouldn't have been realistic to how the skin would look by just its natural state. And then of course, when you use any textures in Unity, you might want to adjust the albedo color just to make it the 100% white, which it would be its natural color as so. So remember, if you're exporting from Unreal, when you're doing models, you'll want base color, normal, ambient occlusion, and you'll want to convert your metallic map with the roughness into a smoothness which is glossy. So I'll put some of the things that I've mentioned in the description for you to be able to look at and for you to be able to take this further. If you've got any questions, do let me know and we can go from there. So I hope this helped people out and I hope that you can start taking models that you might want from Unreal Assets to use in other places like Unity. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.